Thomas, nice to see you. Hello. It's lovely to see you too. Did yeah. you uh, last week? Yeah. I did miss you very much indeed. Correct answer. Very much. Well, <laughs> you were flirting with Amanda Hamilton when I wasn't as here. As if no, no, Grant did that for Grant us. Grant did yeah. that. I'll be having words with him as well. So, well, listen, we're eating as well as drinking this we're week. What's eating, isn't this great? My you know, favourite combination. <laughs> with the idea of matching wine to pancakes sounds a bit crazy at first, but I was thinking a wee bit laterally, thinking that pancakes can cover everything from the, the Russian blinis, you know, mm -hmm. with the caviar or the smoked salmon, right through to the all-American breakfast with the bacon and the maple syrup. So it covers the whole kind of gamut of styles. And I've picked three kind of typical styles of pancake here with wines to match each of them. OK, All first right. up, what we do. OK, so first up, we're going with a savoury pancake or crepe, which is very, very That's it popular here? dish. Yeah. This, this is it. This was made <laughs> by <laughs> Sally, our home economist. Listen, it, it mm. tastes much better than it looks, I'm, mm. I'm assured. Do you two want to have a wee taste Not of that? Not particularly. What is it? It's pancakes really. with it's good, lovely <laughs> chicken and cream and yeah. spinach and mushrooms. It's a delight. And it's going to be matched with the finest Denman Vineyard Semillon from Australia, Hold which up. is Stephen, you can't just take the cheese. You need to eat the pancake. £8.49 in Tesco, this wine. And if you have a wee mouthful of that, which looks delicious, I have to say, I'm not going to bother trying it. Yeah, why are you but, not uh, trying the, it? Um, <laughs> but I'd have a sip of your wine with it too. The I finest it. Vineyard Semillon from Australia. <laughs> I like it a lot because it overpowers the taste of the pancake. Now, isn't that I delicious? I think that's okay. It's not bad. Isn't that a good combination? Because, what is it? Well, you've got <laughs> what the pancake? Yeah. What is it? It's got chicken and cream and oh, mushrooms, right, and it oh, it's delicious. And the wine's got that kind of lemony freshness that cuts through it, but it's also got that <laughs> nice texture to match with the kind of richness of those mushrooms and I things. I like it. Frankly, TCP would have been better <laughs> after <laughs> that. But the wine was nice, Tom. I that's didn't like the wine. Stephen, you're usually on my side. This okay. isn't fair. Right. This looks better. Second one up. Two? Okay, second one up. You've got some classic Chinese pancakes. You know, crispy shredded duck with a hoisin plum <sighs> sauce. Lovely. Absolutely you delicious. for us. I made these for you. Okay, nice. um, just listen, <laughs> tuck in, you can pick it up and eat it as well, I think. And we've matched this with a wine from California. Okay. What I've matched it with is the Scotto Zinfandel Barbera, 2007, from Laidback, California, £5.99 okay. mm -hmm. in the Great Grog Company. Mm -hmm. Don't just eat the pancakes, have a sip of the wine. <laughs> so those are lovely. They've got that lovely smoky mm. shredded duck. Mm. Plum sauce. That plum sauce, which is nice and deep and fruity. And the wine. Oh, I like that one. When you have a sip of it with mm. that, you've got those same flavour combinations, the plumminess, the earthiness, mm. with that lovely smoky really quality. Really like that one. That works really, I'm really well, I'm strangely getting into my red. That's because of you. Well, I know, Michelle, like what you've but... what done. I know, but it's good. I've expanded your horizons yeah, I mean, a duck, wee bit. Duck and red wine is a good combination, full stop, but with the pancakes, it's absolutely... Exactly, small. I think it's great. And, of course, because it's so crispy, you know, Baked to the, the duck, it's really kind of smoky as well, which is beautiful. You cooked that, that beautifully, point. Tom, by Thank the way. Thank you so much. Do you know another wee try, the chicken one, just to see if you no, like well, it? No, listen, we're moving on to the classic pancake to finish, which is the sweet pancakes with... And I've got some fizz, I've got some Prosecco this week to have with them. And you know the classic pancake combination of pancakes with lemon, sugar, Whoa, castor yeah. sugar and butter. And what I've put tried to partner this with, if you want to have a wee taste of the pancakes, by all means go okay. ahead. See, what I'm partner really this with is a Prosecco, twist. and we've got the Calibrigo Prosecco Brut Non Vintage from Italy. Mm -hmm. It's £9.95. Can you the lemon juice, Michelle? No. comes from an online company Thanks, called Stephen. from vineyardsdirect.com. This company uh, brings its wines over, imports them by hand, so it's a wee Woo! bit different this. That um, is too sweet. Have a glass of Prosecco, that'll soon Oh, it's out. very sweet. £9.95 from vineyards.direct.com. Calibrigo Prosecco Non Vintage. Have a little sip of That's the wine. My right. And it's a lovely Prosecco. Oh. It's got that mm. beautiful lemony freshness to match with the lemon in the pancakes. I like uh, That's spot on. Do you Isn't know, I think I'm going to go back and just have a wee try of everything oh. else. Well, just because well, I really enjoyed this. Why don't you try them all, the combinations again? Well, I think this is lovely because Prosecco is one of those wines, this is on the drier side, but it's got the lemon and the peachiness that I think with the pancakes and the richness in the butter just goes absolutely beautifully. £9.95. was absolutely lovely. And who would have thought Prosecco and pancakes could go together? Well, you know, you've got the sugar, you've got the lemon, you've got the butter, and these are all things that you can find in Prosecco, so I think it's a really nice combination. I couldn't drink, see this first wine, I couldn't drink that wine on its own because it's very sharp. It's but a crisp one. because the pancake's so savoury, it does definitely cut it out. It does. Semillon's one of those grapes, actually, that you could age that wine for five 
six, seven years and it'll get richer and richer all the time. So it's an interesting grape, but it is lemony and fresh at the right. moment. All the details on the website, but we had the savoury pancake with the white. We yeah. had the duck pancake with the red. We had the sweet pancake with the Prosecco. With Prosecco. What would be your choice, Michelle? Which would be your favourite? Uh, probably all three of the pancakes plus the <laughs> Prosecco. That would be my choice. I liked, I think the red with the duck pancakes was just lovely. Classic combination. And of course, Pancake Tuesday's coming up. Pancake Tuesday. On Tuesday, you're yeah. going to be giving it the old... I'll be giving it the old... Yeah, with Tuesday. a bit of luck. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what, was, what was your... What was let's that? move on from that one. <laughs> what, <was your, laughs> what was your favourite? <laughs> what was my favourite? My favourite was... <laughs> I'll say if you don't want it. ...was undoubtedly the... <laughs> Prosecco was nice. Like Prosecco. <laughs> We've got more pancake uh, cooking on the show on Tuesday. What are we doing with you, though, next Friday back here? Oh, listen, good fun next Friday because I've picked a selection of wines which are all going to be available, and when you buy them, you donate some money towards comic relief as well. So oh, free lovely. cracking wines. Yeah. Charitable yeah. giving Char while you're you buying can your wine. with a clear conscience because you're giving money to charity with each of these wines. What a great Excellent. idea. Thanks for that tonight, Thank Tom. We we'll look Tom. forward good to seeing you next you. Friday. And, and